what's up everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel it is your girl panda 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 back with another video i'm sure you've read the title but today i'm bringing you my nail tutorial and i know i've been talking about doing this nail tutorial for the longest i'm sorry about the wait before we get started though make sure you like this video and subscribe if you haven't so here are my nails now as you can see they are getting old definitely need replays i've broken one here and i got gems falling off here i've had these nails on for about two weeks after a couple of weeks of wearing my nails it's definitely time to go ahead and make me a new set so that's what i'm about to do today if you're interested stay tuned y'all know i love saving my coins but still looking gorgeous so everything i got here i got for the low off amazon except for these nail polishes my purple nail polishes not the top coat i got from family dollar the top coat is from amazon as well and everything is really inexpensive y'all these nails i don't remember the brand but i know i got them from amazon and these right here i also got from amazon and i actually prefer this brand over the other one they just seem to fit my nails a little better but unfortunately i'm out of a lot of the sizes that i need so we won't be using this one today i just wanted to show you i also have these little nail holder thingies and these are my best friend when it comes to doing my nails y'all they're like little magnets and they just make it so much easier to paint my nails than how i used to do it which i used to glue them on and then paint them which uh, is so much harder y'all and this is my ticky tacky stuff that i use to hold my nails to my little nail holders and then i have my rhinestones you know a little extra bedazzle here and there so cute and right here i got my wax pen and i just use this to pick up my rhinestones to place them onto my nails Okay, so first I'm gonna pick out my nails that I'm gonna use, and I already know my sizes, so this part's pretty easy for me. All right, so I will check back in with y'all once I get my nail sizes picked out. So I happen to be allergic to acrylic, so I can't even go into the salons and get my nails done. I had to find an alternative way to keep my nails looking cute for work, y'all. So I turned to press-ons and come to find out, I saved tons of money by doing my own nails, doing my own press-ons. Basically, I just invested in all of the stuff I needed and it lasts me forever. Not to mention, I love being creative and creating new cute looks. It's fun to me. Of course, I can't accomplish every look that you can accomplish by using acrylic or poly gel nails, which by the way, I'm also allergic to poly gel nails considering that poly gel is half acrylic and half gel, unfortunately. But yeah, you can't accomplish every look you can with using acrylic and poly gel, but I can still make some pretty cute looks and I'm satisfied with that. And like I said, you cannot beat the price on doing your own nails. I like money more than I like nails, y'all.
Okay, so finishing up here, and now it'll be time for us to go ahead and paint our nails. So I think I've decided on this color right here. I'm really feeling this metallic dark purple vibe. It is so cute. Whoa, okay, so this is a lot more sheer than I expected. I mean, it looks super dark inside the bottle, but we're just gonna roll with it. We're just gonna do plenty of coats and see how dark we can get it because look, it's still really cute. Look at that. Now this is so pretty. So I was thinking if you guys really enjoy this type of video, comment down below and let me know because I do this all the time. I could literally do watch me do my nail videos just let me know if it's something you're interested in
normally I don't have to do this many coats. <laughs> it's just that this nail polish is so sheer that I want it to be a little darker. So yeah, I'm adding coat after coat. But look at this finished product though. It was so worth the mini coats because that is so cute. <laughs> Okay, so now it's my favorite part. Time to glue the rhinestones on. So I'm gonna use these right here because basically there's 10 of those and I wanna do similar to my last set, the pink ones I'm wearing. I wanna do one rhinestone on each nail and I want them all to be the same rhinestone. So basically I have to find rhinestones that I have 10 left of. <laughs> So I found that the trick to get the rhinestones to stay on longer is to add lots of glue. Ta-da! That is so cute. Oh my god, I just can't, y'all. And just for safe measure, I put like a little extra coating of glue around the gem because that's usually what gets caught. That's the part that gets caught on stuff and makes them come off easier.
And there we are, y'all. Rhinestones officially added. One hand down and one to go. I'll check back in with y'all when I get the rhinestones added on to this half. Okay, so now it's time for me to apply my top coat. This is actually a gel top coat. So that's why I have my trusted UV light here to cure my polish. I also got this UV lamp off of Amazon, of course, for the low. I like to use gel top coat instead of just a regular top coat, mainly because it adds such a lustrous shine to my nails and it makes them look more expensive. I've also found that it does a better job at covering the rhinestones than a regular top coat does. And I found that if you add a lot of gel on top of the rhinestones, they tend to stay on better because it gives them kind of a soft coat and that way they don't get caught in your hair or on other things as easily. Okay, so I put it in my light and I just hit the highest amount of time, which is 90 seconds. And I'll do this a couple times if I need to. It just depends kind of on how much gel I use. This time I use a lot of gel because the rhinestones that I used are fairly large. So, yeah. And here we go. Here's our finished product, y'all. I'm really loving this metallic purple look. It is so cute. And with the diamond shaped rhinestones, I think it goes perfectly with this color. I'm really digging this, y'all. What do you think? Comment down below and let me know if you like these nails. I can't wait to put them on. And of course, I will show you me putting them on too. Okay, so don't mind my natural nails, y'all. Please ignore them. <laughs> but before I glue on my press ons, I have to push back my cuticles. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just gonna speed this video up just so it doesn't get so repetitive. But yeah, enjoy watching me apply my press ons.
Okay, so the trick here, just like the gems, you need to add a lot of glue to do these press-ons to make them stay on. And what I do is I add a lot of glue to the press-on and a layer of glue to my natural nail too. And I press down firmly for about 20 seconds each.
And there we are, the finished product. Pretty and purple. I love this metallic purple look, y'all. I'm really feeling this, this set. So yeah, I'll probably wear these for a couple weeks and then it'll be time to make me a new set. But I hope you like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't. And let me know if you want to see more videos of me doing my nails. Until next time. Love you all. Mwah. Cause I'm bad as fuck. Bad as fuck.